God, they say that you are love. If that's true, I sure could use a little of you right now. You know I've had my doubts, but right now I am so confused. If you're out there, I really need to know. I just don't know what to do anymore. I don't know how to reach him. If you could just send a little sign, something, anything that will give him the strength to let go. To hold on. Pretend that I'm some sort of expert, but why? I mean, I'm not embarrassed to admit that I just spent the last nine years in a marriage and never once knew what I was doing. Boy, I hope your homeowners has paid up there, Billy. <laughs> hey, George. <laughs> Glory. How many lights you got on the old Casa? Well, I'll tell you, however many it takes. <laughs> but do you see what I'm getting ready to do with this evergreen tree right here? <laughs> huh? What do you got for me today? Oh, I got two for you today, Billy. One's a Christmas card, and the other one's from a, a Haggerty and Kaufman. Haggerty and Kaufman? Yep. Billy! Careful! Oh, jeez, that was something. You okay, Billy? Mm -hmm. Huh? Are you sure? Mm -hmm. That was a heck of a fall. Yep. Oh. Well, I'll be off then. Uh, here's hoping your day gets better. Ha. That a boy. The divorce papers that George delivered that morning made me feel like I'd been hit by a truck, which reminds me of an old truism. Nobody ever gets into a car thinking they're gonna crash. I guess the same could be said about marriage. It's like, I always knew disaster could strike, but I always thought it would happen to the other guy. And then I realized, to all the other people in the world, I am the other guy. And it was my turn to crash. Deck the halls with boughs of holly, fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly, fa la 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 la. Time we now are gay. You look at them, clueless fools. Don't they know what they're getting into? I mean, sure, we've all heard the vows, but do we really get the meaning? Can I help you? <sighs> For richer. In sickness and in health. <laughs> Till death do us part. But what happens to all those promises? Hmm? Are they just words? Empty amulets of hope against a false reality? You ask me, Harry Nilsson said it best in a song. You're breaking my heart, you're tearing it apart. So Forget you. And I, I clean that last part up. First of all, 
You should know that I agree with almost everything Billy has said. Once upon a time, Billy Taylor was my best friend, my lover, and my business partner. We were good. No, we were great together. But then, somehow, everything started to change. Slowly but surely, we started to change. What's this? A better number. I could tell you weren't too impressed with our last offer. Uh, you're definitely getting warmer, but I'll need to talk to Billy about this. Why am I suddenly worried that you're not too sure about selling? I'm sure. Billy isn't. In fact, he's actually downstairs right now, so maybe we can pick this up on Monday? Basically, Miss Reed, we started Poets Walk with one purpose in mind, and that was to remember that special occasion, even if you don't. Or can't. Exactly. Now, you know how a will or a trust has an executor? Well, we are the executors of well wishes. Do you mind if I ask why Billy doesn't want to sell? I mean, what if he says no? No, he won't. Don't get me wrong, Billy's my partner and I want his blessing. But I started Poets Walk 11 years ago. Well, here's my cell in case you need to talk. Letting go isn't easy. How did you know Billy and I are breaking up? Uh, at the, um, the risk of looking completely insensitive, I didn't. I, I thought we were still talking about the company. <sighs> we, we were, until we weren't. Sorry, life has been kind of a cluster lately. It's all starting to blend together. But while we're on the subject, I've been through that too. So my offer to talk still stands. Hey. Billy. Oh, hey. Sean. Thought he was here to run an audit, not a marathon. You know, you can be such a charmer sometimes. Oh, really? I was going for rude. I'll try harder next time. Seriously, what is he still doing here? You know why he's here. And you're still listening. He just upped the offer a lot. Come up it again. There you go. That's our life. Your call. It was pretty easy for you, huh? But then again, I guess you already know what it says, huh? You don't have to be so mean, you know. This is not. This is not what I want. I don't want. I don't want this. I don't want a divorce. I want you. Billy, please, we've been over this a thousand times. Well, let's go over it a thousand and one. We have become two completely different people. Man, we've always been different. All right, that was one of the things I loved about our relationship. You love the fact that we're nothing alike anymore? No. I love the fact that our differences didn't matter. Okay, I love that we loved who we are. Right now, there's this massive, irritating fact. Everything that I do gets under your skin. And everything I do is wrong. Like dismantling the company? Huh, our marriage? Oh, you're right. You're wrong. Look me in the eye. Hey, look, look me in the eye and tell me honestly that we don't make awesome partners. I'll sign it. I'll sign it right now. We do make awesome partners. But that's the problem, not the solution. If we're not talking about business, we have nothing to talk about anymore. Just talking about business. I'm not talking about it. Maybe I'm talking about the carnal definition of awesome. Oh, 
Why does it always have to come down to the lowest common denominator with you? I'm sorry. Was calling you an awesome lover insensitive of me? Billy Taylor, you are the most- Oh, irrit irritating, <gasps> irritating, irritating. Stop, stop. I am not in the mood. See, now I'm confused. Because if we're still talking about the lowest common denominator, and you're not in the mood, I'm all too familiar with it. What are you, you going to throw that at me? Don't tempt me. Are you going to seriously throw that at me? You know what? Go ahead, babe. I dare you. Fire away! Huh? Me and you both know you couldn't hit the broadside. Yeah! Oh. Oh, God. Are you okay? Billy? Mm. Sorry, I, I forgot my notepad. You just get out of here, man. Have a nice weekend. I am so sorry. I, I, I didn't know that I was going to actually hit you there. Where's the pen? I could use some caffeine. You? No, thank you. Flew out just the toss the papers out the window. There. How utterly typical. I didn't I do knew anything. I, have I was you just alone. sitting with the Very mature. This window open Billy, before. just. I didn't even do anything. Just stand there, get down there, and get them. Bye. Hi, Mister. Uh, uh, sweeper guy, stop. No, 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 no. Storm is on the wing, folks. Now, don't get your hopes up, but we may have a white Christmas. Looks like our glorious Indian summer is about... Billy. Hello? Anybody home? Billy? In a one horse open sleigh. So 
for the beach we go. What are you doing? Laughing all the way. The door. Bells on, bobtail ring. Billy, what is going on with you? This place is a pigsty. I don't know, Mary. Maybe my give a damn switch broke when you moved out. Well, get it fixed. It's gross. What are you looking for, anyway? I'm looking for a pair of clean underwear, okay? I know there's one around here somewhere. <laughs> Wait downstairs. Surprise? What's going on? Is this me? Nope. I just kind of made her up. She's great though, isn't she? I just assumed you sketched her from a picture of me when I was a little girl. Maybe. Subconsciously. You've always been my muse. We should turn her into a Mother's Day card. Yeah, our Father's Day card. What's going on? Uh, I am um, brought over another copy of the divorce agreement. certain you want to do this. I think we're forgetting what Dr. Sheila said in therapy. It's perfectly natural for us to still be attracted to each other. responsible for ruining our lives with a swipe and pen. I'm not about to ruin anything. I believe Dr. Sheila made a lot of sense when she said that sometimes in order to save a relationship, you have to end it. I know, and I agreed, all right? That's why I ended the relationship with Dr. Sheila, all right? You... Funny. No! Uh, uh. What? <laughs> Come on, Mayor. If that's not a sign, I don't know what is. Do we have any almond silk? I'm hopelessly lactose intolerant. Why is my t-shirt wearing a little girl? Um, excuse me, little girl? What are you doing here? If that's for me, I'm not here. Neighbor kid? Somebody get that, will ya? Hello? Shh. I'm not here, remember? Who are you hiding from? No one. But if a seven foot man brandishing a flaming sword is at the door, play dumb. Oh my. Remember now, X nay on the Idle Earl Gay. It's the UPS guy. Mayor? Don't 
you just love Amazon? Young lady? Hmm? Where do you think you're going? To put some clothes on, silly. My little booty is freezing. Um. Taylor? Yes, sir. I'm Officer Evans. This is uh, Pamela Burt, Child Protective Service. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you so you much for coming. Please come in. Oh. Thanks. Thank you. Right in here. This should be interesting. What color should we do the shoes? Mm. She said her name was Taylor. Red. Well, hello, Taylor. I'm Chuck Evans, and this is my friend Pamela. How about the hair? Mm, yellow. Yellow it is. Blondes have more fun. Hi, Taylor. Oh, no. <laughs> this is Taylor. Oh. I see. What do you think? I think this is way out of my jurisdiction. I don't, I don't understand. What do you mean? Mr. Taylor, Child Protective Services protects children. We were told the subject in question was much, much younger. Why, well, I'm not a professional, and I've never had any kids, so it might be hard for me to judge, but what is she? She looks like she's around eight years old. Well, I am a professional. And you can take it from me, that isn't what eight looks like. You say she just showed up. Yeah, she out of the blue, she came into the kitchen, she opened the fridge, she was looking for food, she was wearing my T-shirt. Why was she wearing your t-shirt? I don't know. Maybe to keep from running around naked. Mm -hmm. So, you wanna just cut to the chase? You wanna press charges? Why? For trespassing. Absolutely not. With this poor little thing's pro I just, I'm just trying to get her home. Okay. <clears throat> I'd like to go for a ride with me, young lady. Look, I keep trying to tell you, this isn't about me. It's about this little girl. I've seen what I needed to see. Um, all right. Come on, Taylor. Why don't we go for a nice little ride? Hey! <laughs> Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! Taylor! What the? What the? Hey! Get me out of these cuffs! Now! What are you doing? Get me out of these cuffs! What the? Miss Burke! Go get back up! No, 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 get no, 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 no. Miss Burke, you don't need to go for back. Right, Ms. get Burke? over here! Miss Burke! Off me. Yes, sir. Get me out of these yes. cuffs yes. right now! All right. Where's the keys? Where's the keys? On my left! Uh, On my uh, left! Left pocket! Left pocket! Man, left! The left! Right here! Now! Yeah. Outside pocket! Get, get it, get it, get it, get it! Wait, 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 wait one moment on, on, on the left. Miss Park! Pockets got the uh, earth. Miss Park! <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> False reporting and obstructing a police officer in the course of his duties. Any questions? I wouldn't know where to begin. Thank you. Have a good evening, sir. Have you ever played 
bubble Santa? <laughs> no. Oh. Oh, I'm Santa. <laughs> you're Santa, here's your bubble hat. <laughs> So Chuck doing? I'm trying to remind him it was Christmas, but he wasn't feeling very terrible. Taylor asked if she could take a bath while we waited for you. She says she's never had a bubble bath before. I didn't know how bubbles would feel. I didn't think they would tickle your nose. Mm -hmm. Mary, can I speak with you for a minute? Um, first take a look at this. Can we do that a little bit later? Because I would love to speak with you out in the hall, please. Like now. Maybe we should take her to see a doctor. The question is, can the doctor see her? Billy, calm down. Everything is going to be okay. It's going to be okay, Mary. It's Derek. These, I feel like I'm waiting on an alarm clock to wake me up out of a... I don't know if it's a dream or a nightmare. It's definitely a dream. <laughs> you realize what you just said? What? Dreams. They are very nice. Okay, but they can be very painful when they go away. Are you telling me to wake up? I just don't want you to get hurt again. I don't want anyone to get hurt. Especially not her. And just so you know, I pressed pretty hard for answers while you were outside. Yeah? I don't believe she's lost. In fact, I think she knows exactly where she is. What up? What are you saying? This isn't random, Billy. It's not an accident. She insists she's in the right place, but either she won't or, or she can't tell us why she's here. Why? She said it's against the rules. Whose rules? She won't say, but... Look at her. She acts as if being here is the most natural thing in the world. Okay, Mayor, you're talking about a girl who is or isn't there. Okay, there, there is nothing natural about this. And, and why are we the only ones that can see her? I don't know. But here's something I do know. Until we figure this out, we are all in this together. And the only thing we can do is take care of her. This doesn't sound like you. What's that supposed to mean? You've always been the realist. Okay, you're the pragmatic one. Up on the house top, reindeer paws. Out comes good old Santa Claus. Down through the chimney with lots of toys. For all the little <laughs> girls and boys. Oh, ho, ho. Who wouldn't go? Oh, ho, ho, Look, I don't know how. Who wouldn't go? Oh, why, yeah. Up on the house top, click, click, click. But you have to remember what's happening. It's not real. She's not real. What do you say we trade these bubbles in for some warm jammies and a bedtime story? Sure. Can we read a Christmas one? Of course. My time is nearly gone. I will, said Scrooge.
go. Taylor! What are you doing? I thought you were gonna help us make a snowman. I think we'll just watch. Okay. Billy, can you give me a hand? We're gonna have to build Frosty without Taylor. On the count of three. All right. One, two, three. <laughs> <sighs> Frosty the snowman was a jolly happy soul <gasps> With Yay, a home cup and a button nose And two eyes made out of coal Frosty the snowman is a fairy tale they say He was made All of right, snow I'm gonna but pack. the children know How he came to life one day there must have been <laughs> some <laughs> magic in that Hi. old silk hat they found. No, 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 no. Whatever you do, do not let Maddie touch it. put it on his head again to dance around. Can I help with the light? You sure can. Oh, Frosty, the snowman was alive <laughs> we as he hour. could be. The children say he could laugh and play just the same as you and me. Frosty, Ryan, the snowman, the DMI, great. the sun was hot that day. Look, you guys, so aren't they pretty? It's fun. Yep. They're right outside. So fun now before I melt away. Taylor? Oh, no. Down here now. Taylor? Maybe she's upstairs. Taylor? 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 Where are you, honey? How you were. Um, I'm so sorry. <gasps> Taylor, is this why no one else can see you but us? Hmm? Are you. Are you an angel? I should have told you guys, but I was afraid you'd send me away. Please don't be mad. Why would we be angry with you? Because I ran away from heaven. Why'd you run away? Because I wanted to, I wanted to see what it would be like to have real parents. In that case, can I tell you a little secret? We've always wondered what it would be like to have a little girl. Really? Yes. So you've made us very happy by coming to live with us. You're not going to send me away? No. We'd never send you away. Well, in that case, would it be okay if... Go 
Come on. Would it be okay if I call you mommy and daddy? Oh, yes. Mommy and daddy would be wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yes, she'll be fine. I'll be right back. so angry for so long. I've forgotten what it's like to believe in miracles. And now you have one. But man, what's next? I honestly don't know. <laughs> but she did say she wanted to live with us, right? I'm not trying to upset you, okay? But there is a reason why she's been hiding. If she is a runaway... Someone will be looking for her. I think she's in big trouble. And we can't take any chances. We are not letting her out of our sight. Mommy? You have no idea how much I love hearing that. I love saying it too. But I don't understand something. Why do we have to go to work again? Well, don't people have to work in heaven? Sure they do. But mostly they just work on being better souls. <laughs> well, we're supposed to work on that too. But unfortunately, most people have to work for money down here. Why is money so important? Because that's how we pay for things. What kinds of things? Hmm. Christmas presents. You better step on it then. We don't want to be late. Oh, Sean. They're beautiful. But you shouldn't have. Yes, I should. It's my way of saying thank you for all the patience you've had with me and answering all my questions. Oh, brother. What a butt kisser. Uh, <clears throat> Let's you and I sit on the couch. Oh, why don't you take my desk? I'm gonna be in the store most of the day. Oh, okay. your mind several times this weekend. I'm kind of wondering what makes him so special. Check out the starch on his collar. You could cut fruit on that edge. Bet he even searches his undies. And mom, I hate to tell you this, but he's actually wearing whitey tighties. <laughs> Something funny? Uh, no, computer. <laughs> Mom, do you ever wish you didn't have a conscience? What are you talking about? I'm trying to say that there are two sides to every coin. He never lies, honors his mother and father, donates a lot of time at the boys and girls clubs, and supports two charities. 
but just because he rides his bike to work and rescued his dog from a shelter doesn't mean he's perfect. Mom? Mm-hmm. Are we done with work yet? I think I just gave myself a sick headache. Here's that quarterly report you asked for. Is there anything else you'll be needing? No, I think this should be it. Okay, well, in that case, I'm out of here. Well, you're not leaving, are you? I was planning to buy you lunch. You know, I'm suddenly not feeling well, and I don't want to get you sick. Well, don't worry about me. I never get sick. <laughs> oh, you can never be too careful. He's so perfect, even germs avoid him. Dude, buy some boxers. mom's work. Daddy said all I had to do if I wanted to go Christmas shopping today is be really obnoxious when we got to work. Oh really? <laughs> you two are in trouble. <gasps> I'm gonna get you! Daddy, home! <laughs> yeah, you better run. Daddy! I'm gonna get you! And I'm gonna get your dad too! <laughs> to do is pick out the ones we like certain ones you know and put those on the tree but I'm thinking since this is a special Christmas maybe we'll try and hang each and every one of them and when I get home tonight maybe we can trim the tree together this is gonna be the best Christmas ever <laughs> be good you too all right so what we have to do, we have to take these upstairs, we're gonna dust them off, and then we'll hang them on the tree. Come on! Hello? Is 
Is somebody down here? Let me know when we're back online. Yeah. There you are. You've been gone a while. Everything okay? Oh, everything's fine. We're just, uh, our server's down. Nothing we can't handle. Oh. Is there something you need? Yeah, yeah, but I, uh, I don't know if I should ask now. You seem a little preoccupied. <laughs> okay, um, these returns you gave me, they're from 2008. I don't think you want me to reevaluate the business based on these numbers. You'd owe me money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess I am a little preoccupied. For what it's worth, I feel for you guys. Breaking up isn't easy. How long have you been married? Nine years. Jen and I made it four. What happened? Well, three tours of duty were hard on us. And after I left the army, I was determined to build my business. I was on the road a lot. Jen was wrapped up in her own career. Kids? No. No, thank goodness. She went her way, I went mine. It's a clean break, no baggage. Up Scrooge went, not carrying a button for that. Darkness is cheap, and Scrooge liked it. Mommy's home. Hey, kiddo. Come lay down. Read with us. Okay. Actually, we'll be through in a minute. But before he shut his heavy door, he walked to his rooms to see that all was right. See? Come on, Mommy. Lay down by me. If you insist. So you can finish. Billy, stay. Yeah, Daddy. Stay. I got a lot of work to do, sweetie. And I should have started two hours ago when your mom was supposed to be home. So, good night. Good night. Okay. <clears throat> Where are we? That grouchy old Scrooge is about to be toast. The first ghost is coming. All right. He had just enough collection on the face. Taylor said she had a fun time dusting off the old ornaments today. She also told me the rules for decorating. She said the number one rule is you have to put all the ornaments on the tree facing out. Since they've been in a box all year, the least you can do is give them a nice view. <laughs> Otherwise, they become ornaments. Get it? Yeah. Actually, I think the number one rule should be don't keep a little girl waiting when she wants to decorate a Christmas tree. I'm sorry. I've been putting out fires all day. Oh, really? Let me take a wild guess. I bet old Sean Miller was there to save the day, huh? I said I was sorry, but I didn't do anything wrong. So don't go there with me. I hardly think I owe you an explanation. I hardly think I'm asking for one, Mayor. Okay, I now know where I stand. All I'm saying is next time, maybe you want to think about Taylor. Don't you think I wanted to get home to her? Why do you think I'm still... What? <laughs> oh, you don't have to stop, sweetie. You, you can finish. Why do I think you're still here? Look, even though you've been sleeping on the couch for a week. I thought things were changing for the better. Okay, we, we haven't even used the word divorce in almost a week. I was hoping that 
paler would be more than a distraction, okay? But now I can see that I'm just fooling myself. What's that supposed to mean? It's supposed to mean that you're right. I don't think things are going to work out. Fine. Fine. very happy with me right now, but I only ran away because I started talking about a divorce and nobody loving anybody anymore. And I just had to do something. As you can see, we're in a real pickle down here. sure would appreciate a little free advice. Sweetie. Hi. Everything okay? Seems a little chilly in here this morning. Uh, yes. But, um, I'm glad you're here. There's something very important I need to talk to you about before I go to work. Oh? It's about me and Dad. Yes. <sighs> That's so weird. I've just gone completely blank. I have no idea what I wanted to talk to you about. But I have this sinking feeling it was really important. While you're working on the old memory banks, I had something I wanted to talk to you about. Okay. Why do people say fall in love? I suppose people say fall in love because it's kind of a helpless feeling. Why do you ask? I was wondering what made you fall in love with daddy. First thing I noticed about your dad was how handsome he was. <laughs> He still is handsome, right? Yeah. But he was always on his game. His game? You know, cool. And he was so polite. I think he was the first guy I ever met who had perfect manners. But most of all, I admired his intelligence. I thought he was really talented, too. He was a very serious poet back then. He always seemed to say the right things. And <clears throat> he was very romantic. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'd say he hasn't lost a step. <laughs> All right, you go play. I have work to do. Okay. But can I just ask you one last question? Yes, you may. Is it true that creative types tend to be a little oversensitive and sentimental? <laughs> yes. And you can add needy, temperamental, and stubborn to that list as well. Yeah, artists are nothing like us thick skin, uber logical business types, are they, Mommy? I never thought about it like that, but I suppose not. 
Why? I was wondering, when was the last time you told that sentimental fool in there what a great catch he used to be? You know, way back when. Probably way too long. Something tells me, as a thick-skinned, uber-logical type, you already knew that, didn't you? Thanks, Mommy. Thank you. Those creative types, such free spirits. Yeah. You're not exactly helping me, you know. Come in. Hi, Dad. What you doing? Well, you said that my stubble irritates you when I kiss you. So I prefer kisses over stubble. Does this mean that you're going to clean up your act, too? Huh? Me and Mom were trying to remember what you looked like back when you were a serious Ryman Simon. And a great catch. Really? She said you used to be on your game. And you had style, too. She, she told you, here, let me see that. You tell her that I still very much have game. Right? Tough. Right? Mwah. <laughs> Matter of fact, contrary, to what your mom says. Clothes do not make them in. Yeah, but don't you think t-shirts without mustard stains might help? Possibly. But I believe that it's all in the tube, baby. And I am still a very dangerous man. Does mom have tube? Oh, your mom was the queen of tube. I mean, she was, she was hot. Hot? Yeah. She really knew how to spice things up. You mean she could cook? He might say that. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. I guess she just got tired of cooking. All right, let me have that. You're gonna get me in so much trouble. Come here. Ugh. All right. Ready for the world. Thanks for the shave. You got it. Hey. No need to tell mom about our conversation, hmm? I think that went well, but... Don't forget to remind him that he could do better. Hmm. He could do better. Too. What's the occasion? It's no occasion. I just felt like cleaning up, dressing up a bit. Some strange reason. You look nice. Guess what's for dinner? What's for dinner? Stir fry. Stir fry? <laughs> That's my fave. You didn't know you know how to make stir fry? <laughs> I didn't either. I just. I felt the urge to cook something spicy. Dig in. How is it? Oh, yeah. Is it too hot? <coughs> it's me. He likes it hot, don't you, Dad? <laughs> Have some more. Okay. Mm. Oh, it's too hot. Uh, no. 
Oh, I'm kidding. Oh. I'm glad you like it. I do. Little bird, little bird is good. He really likes it. Mm. Mm. Is there more rice? It came upon a midnight clear to that glorious song of old from angels bending near the earth. To touch their harps of Daddy. Yeah. I'm so glad I'm here. Being with you and mommy is just like I always dreamed it would be. Through the cloven skies they come with peaceful wings unfurled, and still the heavenly music floats all over the weary world. Peace on. to admit watching you two cuddle is the best Christmas present I've ever received I'll tell you something that little girl in there she knows more about living in the moment than we do <laughs> yeah. speaking of moments you sure you're in the right one Have a good day. Bye, Mama. Bye, cutie. Bye. Out of the cold. What? Did you forget something? Whoa. Didn't see that one coming. All set? I should go. What? Sorry, but someone's waiting for me. I thought we'd be finished by now. But you can't go now. We're so close. I'll tell you what. Why don't we kill two birds with one stone? We can grab a bite and just go over the contract one last time. You're right. We should wrap this up before Christmas. I just need to make a call. It's done. It's done. Let me see it. Oh, Let's no, see. you don't. Let me see it. It's a surprise for both of you. All right. Can I wrap up before Mommy comes home? Mm hmm Sure. But I have a feeling, kid, that your mom's going to be a little bit late tonight. She's been working late a lot, huh? Yeah. However, running your own business is a big responsibility, man. 
What if we really surprise her and bring it to her office? I don't think that's okay. No, that's a good one. You need some wrapping paper? Yeah. Coming up. <laughs> In regard to the deal points, there is one item we need to discuss. Okay. Creative control. It's nice. What about it? Well, it states here, corporate will have final edit on all art renderings and written copy. Yeah, um, that's pretty standard stuff. I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> but that's not what we talked about. I can't ask Billy to subject his work to a copy editor. I mean, his art is what has made Poets Walk what it is today. Why don't we just relax and have a glass of wine? We can discuss that later. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm hoping you'll consider a new offer. Oh? When the deal is done, I want us to get to know each other better. Outside the office. Daddy? What's the matter? Why is Sean holding Mommy's hand? Let's go, Pumpkin. We'll give Mommy the present later. tell you a story tonight. Okay. That sounds fun. Once upon a time, the angels of heaven gathered to celebrate Christmas and sing hymns of praise. I love it already. But while they were singing, a dark and mysterious stranger interrupted the song by strolling through the great hall, uninvited. And who was this? dark stranger. Nobody would say his name, but he was allowed to walk freely amongst the angels. He even greeted many of them by name. What did he look like? They say he was one of the most beautiful angels anyone had ever seen. As all the angels fell silent, he broke into a song of his own. What song did he sing? Donatella wouldn't say. Wait a minute. Who's... Donatello. 
someone who looks out for me. So anyway, when the stranger's song was finished, he was allowed to take anyone who wanted to go with him. Did anyone go? Yes. The stranger tempted many away. And what was Donatello doing while all this was happening? He said it was painful to watch, because even as the angels who fell broke ranks, they knew they were making a terrible mistake. And why didn't he try to stop them? Because he knows that a kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. I guess the same could be true about a family. Are you trying to tell me something, sweetheart? Just that we miss you tonight. <sighs> I am so sorry. You and Daddy must be terribly mad at me. And I deserve it. No, not mad. Worried. Oh, come here. Out of the mouths of babes. Good morning. Are you still talking to me? Yeah. Good morning to you. I'd like a divorce, please. Look, I don't know what you guys saw, but it wasn't what it looked like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll make sense of that later. Uh, meanwhile, I thought you were gonna have your junkyard dog of a lawyer send over another agreement. Well, I- Just trust me, Mayor. Third time's a charm. <sighs> okay. I admit it. He hit on me. And you responded. I... I should have moved my hand quicker. I... I just got so flustered. I'm sorry. And yeah. You are. Fine. Fine. I'm ready. You won't need earthly souvenirs where we're going, little one. Must hold fast. God's plans are revealed in His own good time, not ours. Taylor would never leave me. Taylor? Taylor? Taylor?
Yes, little one? I don't think I'm going to be very good at this. Oh? I felt them slipping away, so I cheated. Well, cheating is such a harsh way to look at it. Why don't we just tell the boss you improvised? You knew? Who do you think pushed the box into plain view when you were in the basement? But that means you broke the rules, too. <laughs> When they see their present, they'll figure it out. They'll know who I am. What were you really trying to accomplish? I wanted to help them love again. That is very noble. Then why didn't it work? Surprise. I thought you were on a plane. Well, I felt bad about the other night, and um, I just wanted to apologize in person. I didn't mean to push. <sighs> no apology necessary. So we still have a deal? Uh, actually, I've decided to think about it over the holiday. What's there to think about? To be honest, there's a number of things that aren't sitting well with me. Such as? Billy. Say no more. I didn't take it personally, and I understand why you turned me down. I'm also willing to wait until Billy's completely out of the picture. Page 15, section 34, paragraph 1, artistic control. We discussed this. It's standard procedure. And I told you... I won't subject Billy's work to a copy editor. Billy is creative. Okay, I'll give you that much. But as an illustrator, he is way too rough around the edges. We both know it. I couldn't disagree with you more. I've seen his artwork come to life, literally. This company, it can and it will do better without him. <sighs> You've been planning to dump him all along. I wouldn't worry about your ex. He's about to be very well compensated, more than he deserves, if you ask me. Artistic control is a deal breaker. Nobody will give Billy artistic control, ever. I have. And I always will. OK. Now I understand what this is about. It's not business. You're still in love with Billy. Yes? I've got a special D for you. Uh, just sign for it. Mm, can't, it's certified. Uh, I'll, I'll be right down.
I'm Mayor Taylor. Sign here, please. Thank you. And Merry Christmas. You too. How cute! Who sent it? Looks like a kid wrapped it. Yeah. Can you come home? So obvious. Come with me. We had an eight year old angel. It's how long it's been, Mayor. Her name really was Taylor, but her first name was Tara. It's her Tara from my miscarriage. already on his way.
Say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Can you look at the camera? Oh, there we go. Oh, oh sweetheart. Hi. There we go. Okay. Hi, baby. Hey. Okay. Oh. Say Merry Christmas. Say Happy Taylor Christmas. <laughs> It's your first day of Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, poopy. That's what's wrong. Oh, poopy. We got a poopy. That's Here you go, wrong. Daddy. You want to change the poopy? I have to. Uh, I'm doing that. <laughs> With the cool last Okay, here we go. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Merry Christmas, Tara. We love you.